Hi, Mike here, English Nomad in Oz, and welcome to uh, this um, this new episode. So this is going to be a two-part episode, which is covering the uh, Gibb River Road. The Gibb River Road runs from Derby to Kununurra through the heart of the Kimberley region of Western Australia. It's um, probably on the bucket list of most people who want to travel Australia, simply because of the beauty. You've got the King Leopold ranges, you've got beautiful gorges, waterholes, um, stations, the spectacular scenery um, to look forward to on this trip. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, do a brief introduction. Um, as you can see, I'm pulled up here um, just on the uh, start of the Gibb River Road. I'll just turn the camera around and uh, this is it. This is the uh, start of the Gibb River Road. I'm parked up here. And um, the dog and the cat are inside the cab of the vehicle waiting to start our adventure. And uh, there's the famous Gibb River Road sign. And uh, as you can see, I'll move in a little bit closer. All of the uh, all of the main roads are open. There are a couple that are only accessible with four-wheel drives. There's uh, already quite a bit of traffic. It's only uh, 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, I'm going to be setting off very soon, but I wanted to capture this um, so that you can see. Uh, the start of the Gibb River Road. It's bitumized. The first section of the Gibb River Road is uh, bitumized. It's uh, bitumen, I think, for about 60, 70 k's. But I'll um, I'll let you know later on uh, when the tarmac ends. I'll uh, record that and um, I'll give you an update on the conditions of the road as well. So please stay tuned. I'm sure there's going to be lots of really exciting stuff to see in this video and in the uh, second episode as well. So uh, catch up with you later, guys. Hi, Mike back again. I'm um, just on the Gibb River Road. I'm about uh, 110 k's, 115 k's from where I started this morning. And we've come across the first point of interest. Um, I'll just turn the camera around. The sun's very bright, so I will hope that I can uh, do this uh, justice. So just ahead there, I'll zoom in. You may just be able to make out the silhouette of the uh, head of Queen Victoria. You can uh, see the nose in the center of the screen poking out on that rock. And um, from a distance, that definitely does look like the silhouette of Queen Victoria as seen on the old postage stamps. Um, I'll just uh, turn the uh, exposure down a little bit. And uh, there's a car coming, you can see the dust there. See if we can zoom in a little bit more. Oh, that's it. I'll um, I'll take a photograph with my um, camera and put a picture up. But uh, yeah, that's the first point of interest. Queen Victoria Z. There you go. <laughs> Always uh, makes me laugh when I see that because it is uncanny. I'll just uh, turn around and show you the road another vehicle coming. So the road conditions up to now have been um, pretty good. A few corrugations, nothing too serious. I have let my uh, tyres down a little bit to uh, compensate for the uh, corrugations. The bitumized section of the road lasts for about 105 k's but after I think it's 75 k's it's intermittent um, where the floodplains are they've bitumized certain sections and then there's sections in between which are um, which are gravel roads but generally the road's in very very good condition up to now so uh, no complaints there I'm taking my time I'm sticking to around uh, 70 kilometers an hour I'm running 
around 26 in the front and around 30 in the back just to um, soften the bumps out a little bit and um, yeah so I'll shoot a little bit of video in the cab as well on the road so you can see what the conditions are like and um, I'll come back to you uh, shortly with, uh, with anything else of interest. So as you can see the road is uh, pretty good it's uh, corrugated a little bit but um, apart from that it's no, nowhere near as uh, as bad as what people think but it has been graded since the uh, wet season and the uh, and the uh, and the traffic coming through here is still pretty light because it's the start of the season really most things don't start opening up here until the first of June so we still are in the uh, early part of the season so uh, it's uh, it's pretty good Let's see if I can get another shot of that uh, Queen Victoria's head and I'll put a picture up on uh, on this video So we're just coming up to uh, the lookout point now so uh, as you can see the scenery ahead is um, it's really amazing so uh, when we get to this lookout point I imagine it's going to be uh, breathtaking. My word, this is absolutely amazing. I'm just going to jump out and grab the camera again. Sure. Oh, that's amazing. That's beautiful. Um, if that is 
doing it justice. But standing here, you kind of look at it and you, I mean, oh, it's just amazing. back again and I uh, just thought I'd uh, give you another quick update I'm uh, here at my first official camp on the Gibb River Road this is the uh, Imagey I think I'm pronouncing it right Imagey um, Aboriginal community run um, campsite it's attached to the roadhouse which is about 400 meters up the road and uh, this is a fairly new campsite which was uh, developed uh, I believe last year and uh, I'll show you guys around the Sun is setting now it has a really cool little uh, camp kitchen with uh, gas barbecues they've got a fire pit here I believe everyone gets around the fire pit later on and has a cool beverage um, Really nice presented little place. I'm really impressed with it. Nice uh, wooden furniture there. All the facilities that you need in a bush camp. Plenty of water. We've got hot showers and uh, ablution block there. What's really cool about this place is, uh, although they don't have um, they don't have powered sites, they do have power for people to come and charge their um, computers and mobile phones and even USB charging points. I've never seen that before, and that's really cool. They thought about uh, people travelling and uh, what they need in terms of the basics, and I think they've covered it off. It's really good somewhere to hang your washing up and uh, you've got this spectacular backdrop with the uh, King Leopold ranges here you can see in the background I have not used the bathroom facilities yet but they look really clean I believe the showers are really good and there's enough camping spots for about uh, there's about 30 camping bays. Could be more. I've not been round and counted them, but there's certainly plenty of room here, and it's not uh, it's not packed to capacity at the moment. I sent the drone up when I uh, when I when I was here this afternoon. Been here since about one o'clock, and uh, I put some footage up of the drone flying over the campsite and just getting that uh, King Leopold range is there in the back. Yeah, it's uh, a beautiful spot. There's a small swimming hole. Me and Bronson went for a bit of a dip. I had a hamburger and chips at the roadhouse, which was very nice. The people there are really friendly. So um, yeah, I can definitely recommend this place if you're uh, looking for somewhere to stay on your own Gibb River Road adventure. This is a very nice spot and reasonably, reasonably priced. It was $19 for one person um, for the night, which um, I don't think is over, overpriced at all. So. Uh, 
that's uh, Imagy. Give it, uh, I'll give it a thumbs up. I'll um, check in with you guys tomorrow when I uh, when I see more stuff of interest that I want to point out. But today's been really, really good. I've seen some spectacular scenery. I've had a, a nice day. The road conditions have been uh, been okay. Nothing too uh, too technical. It's beautiful when the sun sets. You see the colours coming out, especially in the. Uh, up there in the uh, in the rocks, you start seeing the reds coming out. Yeah, very nice. I'm going to give you guys a laugh now. <laughs> I've posted a couple of photographs, but uh, Bronson's getting really cheeky. He's taken to. Uh, stealing my chair so as soon as I uh, get up and do something he's in my chair he's in like flight you're quite comfortable there mate hey do you want one of those horse tent chairs yourself do you want a beer that to go with that chair <laughs> it's funny he does it every time as soon as he get up he's in my chair <laughs> gizmo's out meeting the neighbors She's getting used to uh, being on a harness and a lead now. She did try and escape earlier on. She, um, as soon as I opened the passenger door, she darted off. I had to chase her around. She went under the toilet block, but I managed to scare her out by kicking the little mesh panels on the side and then grabbed her. Yeah, she wants to explore. Do you want to explore, Gizmo? <laughs> Anyway, she's uh, she's safe and well, and she's enjoying the trip as well. She's uh, certainly taking to life on the road. I'm just here at uh, Galvin's Gorge. Excuse the quality of the audio on this video. I'm shooting this with my iPhone. So this is absolutely splendid. It's a beautiful gorge. You can see the waterfall up there. And right at the very top there's a boab tree. And if you can make that out, I'll just move. Yeah, the boab tree at the top, you can see that. The water is glorious. I've not brought my swimming gear so I'm not going to go for a swim and Bronson uh, isn't going to go for a swim either. We'll go for a swim this afternoon in Manning Gorge. But this is gorgeous. It's just amazing when you look at the uh, when you look at the landscape and then you discover these little places like this, it's just, uh, yeah, amazing. Hi, Mike here. Um, I'm just catching up with you. Uh, at the uh, Manning Gorge. You can see the gorge behind me. Um, I've got the sun in front of me. I will turn the camera around and show you the beautiful, absolutely spectacular waterfall and waterhole we have here. The water is crystal clear, it's very, very deep, and it looks like it's an awesome swimming hole. And I'm going to be going in there myself very soon. So I'll show you the scenery. So I hope it's not uh, too overexposed because the sun's in front. But you get the... Uh, you see the water. The water's just crystal clear. You can see down quite a way into the water. There's lots of little fish. It's absolutely gorgeous. See the gorge. It's 
still a lot of water around it's quite early in the season so uh, I'm glad I've come when I did this is just absolutely spectacular to get here you come through uh, the Mount Barnett Roadhouse and if you're staying at the campsite you automatically get entry to the gorge if you're a day visitor I think you have to pay a fee to come in here and it is a, a fairly decent hike up here it took me an hour to walk here and the terrain is really quite uh, rocky and there's some quite tricky climbs up and down to, to eventually get into this gorge so anyone considering coming here you really need to um, consider having appropriate footwear don't attempt it in thongs um, definitely uh, definitely not for the faint-hearted so I'm gonna have a dip cool down and then I'll make my way back because I've left Bronson at the camper with one of the neighbors just keeping an eye on him so I don't want to be away too long but it'd be rude not to come all this way and uh, not go for a swim in this beautiful water wouldn't it I mean look at it that is just amazing and where I'm stood right now I've got a, a really high drop into the water which is really deep so I can just basically jump in so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Alright guys, that's it for now. Just wanted to show you this beautiful spot. I'll um, catch up with you guys later and show you where I'm staying. Hi, Mike back again. And uh, I just wanted to uh, bring you up to date with where I am on the Gibb River Road. I'm uh, staying at the Drysdale River Station, which is... Um, on the road up to Cullumbaroo and Mitchell Plateau and uh, this is a spot I have actually stayed before and it's uh, a really nice little uh, campsite run by the uh, station here, the Drysdale station. Um, it's very basic, no powered sites here. Uh, they do have a toilet block with showers and washing facilities for your clothes. So it's a great place to stop, just to uh, just to get back on top of some of those chores after a few days on the yeah, road. Last night I stayed at the campsite at Manning Gorge. Um, it's part of the um, community-run Mount Barnett facility, uh, close to the Manning um, Gorge, where I uh, filmed that spectacular footage of the gorge and the uh, waterfall. I'll, um, I did get some video footage from the drone of the um, campsite, so I'll uh, put that up so you can have a look. Um, but as far as the Gibb River Road um, is concerned, this is technically, I suppose, my halfway point. So with that, I will close out part one of this video um, by saying please uh, like this video. Uh, as always, share this video and um, if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and um, if you do subscribe please click the little bell down here the little bell finger and that way you get the notifications and uh, as always please comment below uh, until next time Mike signing off <laughs>